Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you very much for tuning in and following me in my adventures in exploring the wide world of pens. And you see two rotating in front of you that I think are quite interesting and we're going to explore them both together today. One is a Vax 700R from Twisby and the other pen is also from Twisby it's an Eco in yellow. The Eco I got from uh, Pen Heaven and the Twisby Vac 700R I got from Pen Boy Roy. We did a swap of pens and he sent me the 700R for a Pen BBS pen that I sent to him that he wanted. So I think these pens look nice on a turntable. They both have some interesting aesthetic value functional value. I have a Twisby Eco with uh, black accents. I've had it inked up with the same ink for over four years and it writes first time every time. Nice medium wet nib. So sit back, grab a beverage, and we're going to explore these Twisbys, other Twisbys that I have, and other models which might be similar. The crowd gives you a wink and we'll continue on. Here's the labeling on the boxes that I have. Pinboy Roy sent me a box from a different Twisby, the 500 AL. So we don't need to look at that, except this is made in Taiwan. If you look at the label that was on the yellow Eco, we'll see it says made in China. So maybe they've outsourced the production of their lower end pens to China. So here I've uh, disassembled the 700R as much as I'm going to do it. The nib and feed pulls out easily from the section. Just a typical injection molded plastic feed. They work well. And the barrel, the section just appears to be one piece that glued into the barrel. What I think is fun, move the distractions out of the way, is when you push down this vacuum piston, it goes back up. So that means it's really forming a strong vacuum and also, there's not a lot of resistance there in those O-rings to seal that up. But I just think that's really cool. Of course, when you go all the way down, it breaks the vacuum, and that's what pulls up ink. But you can imagine that as that piston goes back, that's the force that's pulling up ink. As you know, I like to explore my pens. And if you look down there in the section, you'll see towards the bottom, there's a pretty substantial ridge. Because I always wondered how the design lines up the nib and feed and you'll see there's that slit at the bottom of the feed so the feed only goes in one way <coughs> so one of the things to admire about the Twisby Eco is its simplistic design barrel is one piece section doesn't unscrew I have the piston all the way down because they supply you with a wrench that works very well. Fit in that slot, just turn it, and you can take out the piston. Everything's plastic, except for the nib, clip, and cap band. It's just done well. You know, that cap liner is slipped in place. You can see a nut at that top that holds in the finial and the clip. And the nib and feed pull out very easily. And they're just the classic Twisby injection molded feed. That channel in the back that you pull up ink when you fill it. And then the channel here that feeds the nib. And the nibs are just consistently good writers. This is an extra fine. And then you can see it is an extra fine. And it is a good acrylic, nice and clear. It's all injection molded plastic. Twisby seems to have some types of issues with cracking like gin house do. And to me, a lot of that has to do with, you know, the mold cycling, the resin that's used, the, the plastic. You know, there's a lot of things that can contribute to that instability. But if they cycle the mold properly and use a, a good resin, it should last as long 
as any other pen will last. So here are the Twisby pens that I have in my collection. I think the first one was the Diamond 580. And I did do a video because it did crack in the typical location and Twisby was very quick at responding and sending me replacement parts. So this now pen is back in its original condition. I'll give you a link to that video. But this pen never made my everyday carry. It just didn't feel right in the hand. And I didn't like the fact that the cap post on the blind cap. I have a nice ink spot on my couch because someone turned the pen when it was posted and squirted out ink. Here's a Vax Mini, which I also bought to consider it to be my everyday carry. Didn't make the grade in my hand, didn't feel good. Here's a 700R, which I uh, got as uh, sent to me from Penboy Roy. I like the pen. Hasn't made my everyday carrier inked up. Here's a Twisby Eco, which has been inked up since 2015 with a Sank Irish Shizuku Mojito ink in it. Nice red colored ink. Always writes first time every time. I can leave it set for months and months and months, and I think that's an incredible feature which I didn't expect. And here's the yellow Eco, just to round out my collection here. I think Twisby is really classical in their designs. If you look at their website, they make a tremendous amount of variety. They give you rose gold, they give you some interesting colors, and they price them accordingly. So I think it's great that they've been able to maintain some changes in their models for those people that like to collect everything of a particular model. I happen to be guilty of that, but not with Twisbees. And I think they've done good at, at sticking with this classic design and giving you a lot of different choices if you'd like to keep that design in play, but still have more than one pen. So I give them credit for that. Well, here's an example of why I have too many pens. I'd totally forgotten about the Twisby Aurora that I have, and it has been inked up since I got it. Don't write with it as much as I should. This I thought was a great pen that Twisby made. They made something similar a few years later, but this thing is just substantial, looks beautiful. Cap comes off in a little over one turn. You have a nice black nib there. Number five nib, a lot of people said it should have been a number six, and I agree. Nice ink window. So this is turned acrylic. So it's a little bit different than the injection molded pens, but in the Twisby tradition, they did an excellent job when they made this pen. I'll put a link to my review, so if you want more details, you can follow it. So we need to talk about Twisby packaging. I think it's extremely well done. It's efficient, effective, and does the job it's supposed to do. Got a nice, just frosted plastic box. And on the back side, you have a list of all the parts of the pen. And you notice there are two O-rings. One's covered up by this label that I took from the side. I put it here because I want to keep it with the pen. So Twizzy gives you lots of lots of information. Here's a nice included pamphlet. Talks about disassembly, reassembly. You know, shows you pulling the nib and feed. It's just great. And shows you about, you know, how the ink comes out. You flip it over, you'll see an interesting statement that talks about the pen, the filling system, and the fact that there's a lot of ink in there and maybe a lot of air, and it could burp. Then if you go further into the packaging, there's even more instructional materials. Disassembly, silicone grease, filling, and this little label that says no alcohol in the pen, which is good. You know, the, the pen's dry. No alcohol. And they give you silicone grease, they give you the wrench. Perfect. Everything you need to maintain and keep your pen. Enjoy your pen. And if you have any issues, Twisby is excellent in responding. Great customer service. That's a lot of what you pay for when you buy a pen like a Twisby. So this is the Twisby I have inked up, which we will do a quick writing sample. 
just to validate what I mentioned before. You know, the cap band is nicely engraved, you know, the model on the back. This has a uh, plastic finial versus some of the other ones have uh, nice enameled finial. You pay more for that. You notice there's an O-ring here between the blind cap and the barrel. If you take off the cap and it takes less than one turn to get the cap off, you'll notice there's another O-ring there. And this pen has been inked up since 2015 with the same ink. I think I've only cleaned it once a couple years ago. But it always writes first time, every time. It's great. You can't fault that. It does post, and that O-ring in that barrel makes that post very secure. It's a light cap. It doesn't change the balance. It feels good in the hand. I think ergonomically, most of the Twisbees write very, very well, both from a balance viewpoint and also from a nib viewpoint. The other thing a Twisbee does well is they give you a variety of nibs. Here's an example of the variety of nibs you can get, and all of them seem to write very well. So let's look at this one writing a little bit more closely. So like I said, this pen has been inked up for a long time. Always writes great. I've used it. It's been the pen that's been inked up for the longest period of time of any of the pens in my collection. That says a lot. I think it's time to conclude this video. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I hope this video finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoying your pens. Hopefully you have one as consistent as this in your collection. We've reached the end. And we're going to say bye. Yep, very consistent, very pleasurable to write with.